Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you three different packable vegan lunches. It's summer here, so I'm taking them on a picnic today, but you could totally take them for a work lunch or school lunch later in the year as well. They are all absolutely delicious and I'm excited to share them with you. This video is also sponsored by Mon Bento, which is basically the ultimate bento box company. They create bento boxes in a wide variety of styles. These are the ones I'm going to be using in the video, but all their boxes are lightweight, durable, food safe, dishwasher safe, and the plastic ones are 100% recyclable as well. They have a ton of different styles and colors on their website, so you can click the link in the description to check it out. And also don't forget to use code Caitlin10 for 10% off of your order until the end of September. So now let's get on to the recipes. My first recipe is sort of an American picnic-y inspired bento, and we're going to be using the MB original to hold this recipe. It was the first bento box that Mon Bento created and has these great long containers uh, that can store your main meal as well as a ton of snacks. For this bento, we're going to be making some pinwheels or hummus and sun-dried tomato pinwheels, but you can really change the fillings to whatever your heart desires. So you're going to need a tortilla, and then we're going to dollop on some hummus. I bought some sun-dried tomato hummus to further go with the sun-dried tomato theme, but you can use any flavor of hummus that you'd like, and you just wanna take a knife and spread a thin layer around a good portion of the tortilla. Then we're going to add in some sun-dried tomatoes here that I chopped, as well as some thin strips of cucumber. And then finally, we're going to add some spinach leaves. And the way I'm actually setting this up now is more like a burrito, but I realized I wanted this to be a pinwheel, so I wanted uh, layers of filling, so I moved the spinach leaves down to the bottom of the tortilla. So once you have everything laid out, you're going to firmly roll this up as tightly as possible. And then once you have your roll, you can just take a sharp knife and slice it into bite-sized pieces. I ended up making two rolls uh, to fit my bento box perfectly, and I ate the little ends as a snack before I packed it. Uh, but you can totally add more or less rolls depending on how hungry you are. So now we're going to put our rolls inside of one of our MB original containers. I just lined them up nice and neatly. It's very visually satisfying for my type A personality. So that is our first container, but this comes with two containers. So for our second part of the bento, I'm actually going to be adding in an extra bento divider and a small cup. You can purchase these on the Mon Bento website as well. So for that larger white oval container, I'm adding in some slices of vegan cheese to go with some vegan crackers. These are beet crackers, um, so that's why they look a little pinkish red, but I thought it would be a fun color combination. And then I'm also going to add another little bit of hummus into my cup and some grapes. Don't worry, we're not eating grapes with hummus. We're also going to be adding some carrot sticks to complete this side of the bento box. I love how colorful everything looks and it's all fun snacks that I personally would enjoy. So here is the finished bento box and now all that's left to do is to seal our hummus by closing the container on the lid. And then the bento box themselves have a really unique seal that I like. So each compartment has a lid that seals well. And then also has a little rubber seal that you press down to really keep the vacuum seal. How many times can I say veal? It's veal seal in one sentence. But basically you do that for each of the bento boxes. Then you can stack them on top of each other. Put the decorative lid on top. I loved this leaf jungle-y sort of theme going on. And then you put your strap around the boxes to help hold them together. And that's it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is super lightweight and durable. So you could put it in a backpack or an insulated lunchbox if you wanted it to stay cold a little bit longer. And if you're looking for the pinwheel recipe, it's on my blog. The link will be in the description of this video. So for our next bento box, I went with a little bit more of a Mediterranean theme. And for this bento, we're using the MB Square, which is a different shape than the MB Original. It can hold a little bit more, and it also comes in a wide variety of patterns, and it has a strap to hold both of the elements together or just one square. And you know, again, you get your decorative lid, etc. So to start out, I filled this bento box with my Mediterranean pasta salad. I actually just shared the recipe for this in this week's previous video. So you can click the link in the description to check that out. 
and I decided to serve a little DIY trail mix on the side of that. So here I have some Deglet Noir dates, some almonds, and some golden raisins. I just filled my bento up, mixed it together a little bit with a spoon so everything was more evenly distributed. And then that completes our first half of the bento. Then for our second half of the bento, I was inspired by like metze boards. So I added some pita chips. You could also just use regular pita if you'd like. And then I filled the cup with some zatar hummus this time. And then I'm also adding some sliced cucumbers here for a little bit of crunch and some olives for some salty briny goodness. I am obsessed with olives. If you don't like them, you can leave them out. But that is our completed bento setup. So now to seal it again, we're going to screw the top on that MB cup and then we're going to place the container lids on each half of the bento. And then these seals are a little different, but it's still the same essential uh, process. You just push the rubber lids down, stack them on top of each other. And then again, we're going to top both of these with our nice decorative lid that matches the outside. And then we have our strap, which goes all the way around to secure it. I like this one because it holds a little bit more food. So I think it's more appropriate for adults or larger meals. Um, so this one is my personal favorite bento. It also fits perfectly inside of my lunchbox. So maybe that's why I like it. But anyways, moving on to bento three. Technically, this isn't a bento box, but it's still made by Mon Bento, so I'm calling it a bento. We're using the MB Element, which is really cool because it's actually an insulated container. So this is perfect for hiking or if you don't want to take a lunchbox with you and you just want to store your food all in one element and have it nice and cold and ready to go. So. So we're going to be making a zucchini noodle salad with peanut sauce and we're going to start by making the sauce first. You're going to take some natural creamy peanut butter and add it to a medium sized bowl along with some unseasoned rice vinegar, some tamari or soy sauce, a little bit of maple syrup, some minced garlic, minced ginger, and I also like to add some red chili flakes for a little bit of heat. So we're going to add some water to this and then just whisk it together until it reaches your desired consistency. So if you want it as a dip, you can keep it a little bit thicker. If you want to use it as a dressing, you can make it a little bit thinner. So that's it for the sauce. And now we're going to move on to the salad. We're going to add half of a cup of our peanut sauce into a larger bowl. And we're also going to add the juice of one lime and mix this together. So this helps to thin out the sauce a little bit and it also adds some nice tanginess and acidity from the lime juice. Now we're going to add in our veggies. So I have a spiralized zucchini, some thinly sliced red cabbage, some shelled edamame, and some carrot noodles. I just thinly sliced carrots. You can also grate carrot as well. Then we're also going to add a little bit of cilantro and chopped peanuts. Then all that's left to do is to mix everything together until it's evenly coated. This recipe all obviously makes a lot of larger portions, uh, which is great for meal prep. The veggies won't wilt too much uh, and it'll stay fresh during the week. So once everything's mixed together, we can go ahead and transfer it to our bento or our MB element. You can add as little or as much as you like. I just filled my container up. And then as a final garnish, I topped it with some more chopped peanuts. And then for this one, all that's left to do is to screw on the top. And as a reminder, again, this container is insulated, so it's gonna keep our salad nice and crunchy and cold until we're ready to enjoy it. This is like my ideal summer fall recipe and I feel like there's a lot of colors and textures going on so it's fun and pretty to have for lunch but it's also really satisfying and surprisingly packed with plant-based protein. So that's it for this recipe video but I also wanted to let you know that Monbento has these cool silverware packs which I just used for the MB Element that come with a fork, knife, and spoon. They're very convenient and portable and they're also dishwasher safe so be sure to check those out on their website as well as all of the other bentos which I featured in this video and don't forget to use Caitlin10 for your discount discount code. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you would like more packable lunch ideas. And I think that's it for me. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.